look at this painting. At first glance, it just seems like a couple of guys playing a game of chess. Nothing special. But this painting actually has one of the best hidden messages in its details that will blow you away. This painting once hung in the world famous Louvre Museum in Paris, and it was painted by a man named Frederick Moritz August Retsch. Now there are two titles attributed to this painting. The first is Checkmate. The reason why it's called Checkmate is because it looks as if the man on the left is about to defeat his opponent on the right. You can see it on the two men's faces. One is looking arrogant and cocky, while the other looks depressed and sad. What you may not realize is that the man on the left represents Satan. As you can see, Satan looks confident in the fact that he's about to win the game, but the reason why this game is important is because if the devil wins, he gets the man's soul. The man across the table is just an ordinary person. Maybe he challenged the devil to a game he's typically skilled at for a reward of some kind. But in this scene, he looks hopeless and at the door of defeat. According to a legend, a Grandmaster chess player walked into the Louvre one day, saw this painting, and studied it. After staring for a while at the depiction of Satan and the man, he determined that the man wasn't actually on the brink of defeat, but had the opportunity to beat the devil in this game of chess. Because of this revelation, the painting then adopted the name, One More Move. Perhaps that's why the angel is in the background, awaiting for the young man to make the right move on his turn, but the angel isn't allowed to interfere. The devil is also staring directly at the man, perhaps to intimidate him and waiting to see if he'll see the opportunity to win. This painting is one of my favorites because I believe it encapsulates the dynamic between us and the adversary of our souls. Satan always wants us to think that we are defeated and that there isn't a way out. To be honest, there are moments when we start to feel this way and believe in the lie. But what we must always remember is that the victory is already won by the Lord Jesus Christ and the devil is subject to our Lord and Savior who will help us in our time of need. Although the young man's king was in check, his king had one last move he could make and if he moved it accordingly, he would win the game against Satan. In my opinion, the scene depicted in this painting is frozen at such an interesting moment because it's in times like these where the spiritual warfare in our lives is most important. If we would just pray to God when we feel hopeless and ask for his wisdom, a direction, or for Holy Spirit to guide us instead of accepting our situation, we'd probably be a lot better off. Just like a game of chess requires strategy and thought, the enemy's plan against your life is also strategic. The devil wants to take you out and keep you away from your purpose in God's kingdom. He positions his demons against you in a way where we think there's no chance, no hope, and no saving. But John 10.10 10 says the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. We need to not accept or believe the devil's lies. We need to walk in the power and the anointing that Almighty God has given to us through Christ. We need to remember the words Jesus gave us in Luke 10.19, that he had given us authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt us. My question to you today is what move do you need to make to defeat the enemy in your life right now? What do you have going on in your life where you feel defeated, hopeless, or that the enemy has the advantage over you? Ephesians 6.12 reminds us that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. It may seem like you're battling a person or a situation, but the truth is that we're battling the enemy in a spiritual war that has already been won in Christ, and we can walk in that victory when we pray and place our faith in Him. Even though we may feel down and out, there is always a way out in the Lord Jesus Christ because the final move always belongs to Him. If you like this message and want to help support the channel, please make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Keep fighting the good fight of faith, and have a blessed day.